Good afternoon. You might hear my grandson's cartoon playing in the background. He's eating his lunch. I'm about to give him a nap. Um, I'm jumping on real quick because of an article. Um, some news that just came out regarding the wildfire that we're having here in Texas. Um, I'm not near the wildfire. It's in the Panhandle. I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But my prayers go out to everybody that's in, that's in the path of the fire. Everybody that's going through this, my, my prayers go out with you. We are living in the end times. Jesus could return any time. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, all of your sins are washed clean. Your past, your present, your future. Now, that does not mean you can do whatever you want. If people think that, well, then they're not living for Christ. They're not living for Christ. We have repented, repenting, repenting. That annoys it's a change of mind. It means my old self is gone. I am new in Christ. I live for Christ. I don't live for anything in this world. I don't put my faith and trust in anything in this world. I live for Christ. That's Jasmine's key. I'm, I mean her collar. I'm sorry. Accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Do it today. Don't let Satan put those thoughts into your head that you cannot be forgiven because you've done too many bad things. That's a lie. You will be forgiven. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior and the Holy Spirit dwells in you, you're new. You're changed. You're different. I used to have a lot of anger. I'm not that person anymore. He changes you. The Holy Spirit lifts you up. He guides you. He encourages you. And we are about to go home very soon. Very soon. This came out. Um, it's today. I say the 28th. <clears throat> yeah. This just came out about half an hour ago. Maybe. Yeah. About, about uh, half an hour ago. Um. Okay, sorry, my phone froze. One second. One second, I'm sorry. I have this uh, copy thing. Copy, share, select. It's like staying on my phone. It won't go off. <laughs> see. Devastating Texas wildfire spark disaster declaration. Nuclear plant has been partially evacuated. Apparently there's a nuclear plant in that area and they've evacuated it. Devastating wildfires in Texas have prompted a disaster declaration for dozens of counties and evacuation orders in parts of the Texas Panhandle. Governor Greg Abbott has declared a disaster declaration for 60 counties on Tuesday due to the widespread <coughs> excuse me, wildfire activity throughout the state. The largest of the blazes, the Smokehouse Creek Fire, is the second largest wildfire in Texas history. Wow. The declaration will ensure that fire response resources are quickly deployed to areas in the Texas Panhandle being impacted by the wildfires. <coughs> Excuse me, I just said dairy, I apologize. The Pantex nuclear weapons plant in Amarillo has paused operations until further notice and evacuated non-essential personnel <coughs> Excuse me, as a precaution due to the wildfires. According to the International Situation Report from the Department of I'm sorry, just one second. I'm sorry, I had to pause the video for a second. I'm going to leave off. The Pantex nuclear weapons plant in Amarillo has paused operations until further notice and evacuated non-essential personnel as a precaution due to the wildfires. According to an international situation report from the Department of Homeland Security, Cyber Security, and Infrastructure Security Agency obtained by ABC News, quote, all special materials are safe and unaffected, according to the report. The facility is located approximately 13 miles from the Windy Deuce Fire in Moore County, one of the several fires being monitored by the Texas A&M Forest Service. Several large wildfires ignited under warm, dry, and windy conditions across the Texas Panhandle. The Texas A&M Forest Service said on social media Tuesday, <coughs> excuse me, today strong winds will likely impact the wildfires and the potential for new, new ones. <coughs> God, it looks really bad. Fires continue to impact mainly the central and eastern portions of the Texas Panhandle on Tuesday, according to the National Weather Service. <coughs> oh, I apologize. The Smokehouse Creek fi Fire in Hutchinson County has burnt 500,000 acres and is 0% contained as of Wednesday morning, <coughs> according to the Texas A&M Forest Service. This was extreme fire behavior associated with the wildfire on Tuesday, with wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour and flames as high as 20 feet. Wow. 
The fire has crossed into northwestern Oklahoma, affecting several state and local highways and resulting in the evacuation of a hospital and nursing home in Shattuck, according to the DHS CISA report. The Windy Deuce fire has burned an estimated 38,000 acres and was 20% contained as of Tuesday night, fire officials said. Quote, fire behavior continues to be very active under the influence of high winds, the Texas A&M Forest Service said on social media on Tuesday. More than 40 houses were damaged in Fritch, a city located in Hutchinson and more counties. Since Monday, the city said parts of the city have been evacuated. <clears throat> Mandatory evacuations are in effect for several towns and communities in the Amarillo region, including Skelly Town, Wheeler, Allison, Briscoe, the Na and, and Briscoe, the National Weather Service, said Tuesday evening voluntary evacuations are in effect for Pampa, it said. Several school districts were closed Wednesday due to the wildfires. Abbott warned that the wildfires could grow in the coming days as high temperatures and windy conditions continue. We've had very high temperatures. Today it's cold. It's like... That's how it is in Texas. Yesterday, it it was in the 70s. Today And then before that, it was like upper 80s. Now, it's 41 today. Texans are urged to limit activities that could spark, that could create sparks and take precautions to keep their loved ones safe, he said on Tuesday. So, um, if you could please keep everybody um, in that area in your prayers. And if there's any more breaking news, I'll be back on regarding this. But, um... There's, there's no threat right now to the area with the nuclear power plant, but if there's more information, I'll be back on. Um, God bless you. Keep looking up, and I will talk to you soon.